Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Rosa, Eric, ¿qué pasó? ¿Probaron el link que les mandé? ¿Cómo ¿Cuál link? Ah, lo del... Lo de ayer, de la pregunta, sí. ¿Lo probaron? Mm, honestamente, no. Está no. <risa> no. ocupadito. Ok. Está un poquito no. ocupado. ¿Rosa? No, no, no. No lo vi ni nada. No, Pero no. tal vez ahora en la noche, tal vez lo... Ok, ok. No problem, no problem. This is the idea. Ok. Yo no vi que nadie escribió en el grupo, ni el WhatsApp, ni hello, how are you, ni nada. <risa> bueno, sinceramente, ya hasta ahorita voy agarrando el teléfono. No he estado. Ah, ajá, ajá. Estaba súper ocupado. Está bien, está bien. Ok. Very good. Night. Good night, but no, because no te vas a ir. It's good evening, good evening. Ok. Really? Yeah, good night is goodbye. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Good evening is hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, before we begin, eh, para Rosa, estuve rebuscando y encontré algo para vos. Right? There it is. It's in the chat for you and for Eric specifically. El, porque es la que preguntaron, pero me estaban preguntando, ¿dónde más pueden practicar inglés? Ese es el link. No, teacher, yo no fui. Ah, no, otro compañero. Fue Rosa. Ok. Entonces. No, también otro compañero. Ajá. ajá. Entonces, ahí está el link y en ese link eh, pueden practicar con otra gente, pero es, es como un intercambio. Vos tenés que darle a ellos clases de español y ellos te dan a vos clases de inglés. Así que hace conversación en español o, y como media hora en español y media hora en inglés o un día en español, un día en inglés porque como no se paga se intercambia tu tiempo y tus talentos y habilidades ok Rosa nice Rosa, ¿estás ahí? I'm gonna try it Try it, try it. It's interesting. I think. Yeah. Rosa, Rosa. Siento que estoy así como cuando en los lo muertos tratando de resucitar a alguien. Ah, Rosa, Rosa. <laughs> está ahí. Voy a traer la candela. Rosa. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. ¿Escuchaste lo que dije? No, es que se puso a, a llorar mi chichi. Ajá, ya ve, y ahí está. Ok, bueno, ahí está, como te había dicho, ahí está el, el link para poder hablar con otra gente en inglés, Rosa, era tu pregunta. Ahí me estuve rebuscando, ahí encontré internet, algunos lugares donde te puedes intercambiar un poco de tu tiempo para clases de inglés y le das ahí a clases de español. Ok. Ok. ¿Es ok, Rosa? Ok, teacher. Ahí me contás. Vamos a ver si es cierto que lo usen. Vamos a ver. Ha. Let's begin. All right. So today we're going to continue with our conditional sentences. Yesterday we had conditionals. The if. Do you remember the if? Yes, we do. Yes, excellent. So we have if is when yes, you imagine the situation, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. So this is the idea. Today we're going to try to continue uh, with what would you do if, okay? This is the, the normal topics. And there are many different ways to answer with what would you do if. The most important is that you make your answers with your imaginations. I would, I could, I might. You use different ways to answer the question. So let's take a moment. Let's watch the video one more time to remember a little bit about the conditionals. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. 
a conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if, so we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present, main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, so the most important, the one that we want to remember okay. is that we always use it with the present. So if you get, if you don't have, all of this we use with the simple present. But the consequence or the effect we use with will or won't, we use a model, right? It's very common. Will, won't, may, might, and then the idea for the future. Okay, so always we're going to use with the future with will, may, might. Those are the ideas. It's okay, the conditionals? It's okay. Okay, we'll try. okay. today what I want you to do is first, I want you to think about questions to ask your partner. What are questions that you can ask your partner? Well, the questions we begin with, for example, what? What would you do if, okay? This is the question. What will you do? What will you do if you learn English? What will you do if you start the university? What will you do if you have another job with more money? These are the kind of questions. In this moment, please write one question in the chat. I want to make sure that your writing is correct and that you do it correctly. Put one question with if. Put one question with if in the chat. Everyone, everyone, one question with if. With if? Yes. You can use what. Would you do? What would you, would you do? do if, where would you would go? You do, if you be a, if what, would you be a? Support, no, 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 no. Speak. You know. Write it. Write it, Eric. Write it. Write it in the chat. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry, no, no. sorry. Okay, Roxana. What would you do if you have a lot of money? Correct, Roxana. That is correct structure. Mm hmm. Everyone, everyone, one question, one question. Let's go, let's go. Well, 
what would you do if you be a seal? No. No, Eric, is not correct. Why? Because it's not the first conditional. This is the second. You are imagining. In the first one, it's real, no fantasy. Mm -hmm. When you make a fantasy, you use the past tense. When you make ah, okay, okay. a real, you use the present tense. So, for example, look at Sandra's. What would you do if you receive a free vacation? It's possible you receive a free vacation. That's why you put in the present. Okay, all right. Kind of the idea. Nady, remember, no past tense. No past tense. Is okay. 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 No, Eric. The same. The same. No. No. It's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here, let me help you guys out. So. Okay. Okay. You guys have the the ideas are correct. Very good. Only the problem is the grammar. So in the grammar, if we watch the video, let's take a look at the video so we don't get confused. Okay. I'm going to help you a little bit more. Take a look. What is the grammar? We use the functions, but let's look at the structures. Okay. Do, 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 do. Trying to find we will explain you how this conditional is formed. When we talk about this conditional, which is called two parts, if clause and main clause, word if. So we say. If what do we use? We use the word will. We don't use the word would because we don't imagine. The difference, I'm going to help you in one moment understand. When you use would is imagine situation, not real. When you say will, you imagine situation is real. This is going to help you because the difference is one is possibility and one is not possibility. One of them you is possible happen and the other is not possible it happened. Let me see if I can put a little bit of help. Okay. So if you make, okay, let's try a couple exercises. Okay. I'm going to put a few exercises to help you a little bit more because I think we are a little confused and maybe we can use a little bit of practice. So here, I put the first conditional exercise. That way it's easier for us to understand. <laughs> Hang on. In one moment, we're going to work with our partners to make sure that the first conditional is clear. And one more, just to be sure. Okay, so as you see in the chat, we have four links with our partners. First, what we're going to do is we are going to practice those first conditionals to make sure that it's clear for us how to make the first conditional. Okay? With your partners, you read. But, yes. I'm sorry, but when we put uh, everywhere in um, a small room, uh, we can be able to show uh, different links. You are going to work? You're... Yes, I, I can see them now, but when we are in the small groups, I can see the four. Correct. Just the first, yeah, you're the first that I open. Yes, that's, that's why I put now, so you uh, open the four. Okay, I will try, I think. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you, you open the four and then you only use one by one. You use one that you need. Okay, I will try. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, guys, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's try the four links with your partners. Let's see and try to do, make sure that it's clear. <clears throat> 